everybody this is T with Kate's Crafty Closet in today's video we're going to show you what is new in the store and make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video to see that there's a coupon code for the Labor Day weekend holiday so let's go ahead and get started so I have some new products in from the the stress line this is the new crackling campfire so here we have the spray stain we have the distress oxide spray we have the distress paint we have the collector's pin we have the distress oxide pad and we also have the embossing glaze um, a few of the products are on its way as well as like the ink pads and reinkers that's the only three that I currently do not have but they are on their way so next up we have this vintage um, deco etch. You can etch these on little blanks. Um, so these are the numbers. You get numbers and you get some other little um, hearts and arrows and stuff. So if you have little blanks like this, you can put that on top of that and you die cut it. And it, it etches into your, um, your blank. Next up we have a Nuvo glue pen. This is a pretty cool pen. It's... A flat tip so you get see how you get that right there at a flat tip so you can cover a big huge surface with this so we have a few of those um, then we have a Nuvo aqua flow pen so this is just like a water brush you can fill this up with water um, you can actually put like ink sprays in it like these ink sprays you can put those in them and use them on your projects and stuff like that um, you can put perfect pearls in there and mix it with water and use your own stuff okay so the next thing we have is this waffle flower die. Um, these are holiday words. So holiday words on this one. Okay. Then we have some Nuvo um, watercolor pencils. These are the brilliantly vibrant um, colors. So here are the kind of colors that you get. Spring Daffodil, Tangerine Tango, and a wide variety of different colors. So we have those. And then we have some more Nuvo watercolor pencil. This is hair and skin tones. So then you get these colors back here. Okay, then we have another set of Nuvo watercolor pencils. This one is called Dark Shadows. Wasn't that a TV show at one point? Dark Shadows? Like a soap opera? I believe that's what it was. But And then we next up we have a... Um, Spellbinders die. This one's called Hello. You get Hello and you get this cool retro telephone as well. All right, then we have a Sizzix die. This is a flip it, fold it. It's a butterfly, so you'll fold it over and make some butterfly shaped card. That's from Sizzix and Stephanie Bernard. That is retired, discontinued. Um, this is a picket fence studio. This is negative dots. So basically, essentially, you just put this on all over your cardstock and you get all those negative images. You can repeatedly put them on there. Or if you just want them in one area, you can. So that's from Picket Fit Studios. Next up, we have a Spellbinders die uh, from Seth Apter. This one's called Robo Star. So you get three stars. These are great mixed media dies. Uh, and you can also use these for card making and scrapbooking as well. Art journaling. Um, next up, we have Daisies and Roses from Spellbinders. So you get two dies. Got that one. And then we have the Tim Holtz and Sizzix Colorized Die. Um, this is from last year's release, I believe, called Jolly St. Nick. So we have this one. Next up, we have an Ultra New Die called Evergreen Die. So you just get a row of evergreen trees that you can put across your card panels um, and you can use these in scrapbooking and stuff as well. Um, next up we have this poppy die. This one is called Stitch Holly Border. So you get this little border with these Stitch Holly leaves. Okay. And next up we have this Spellbinders die called Stylized Trees. You get seven different dies. So you get three different trees and some like the stand, tree trunks. Um, you get like these little candies and stars. Uh, really cool. So you have that one. 
Next up we have a poppy die. This one is called Stitched Evergreen Cutouts. So I just get that and it cuts them out and with a little stitched area around it. Great borders are great for cards. Uh, next up we have some Gina K Fancy Foil. Fancy Foil is called Grass Green. And then we also have one called Sweet Mango. Great for, this is for your foiling your cards with the laminator and toner based foil. Then we have this Spellbinders die. This one is called So Sweet Trims. And this one's kind of cool because you can actually put a ribbon through those little slots, as you can see back here. You can put a ribbon through those slots and you get a whole bunch of other different little trims in this pack and get a total of eight dies. Okay. Next up we have this Tim Holtz and Sizzix die called Ornate Owl. Okay, then we have a MFT Dynamics. This one is an Eiffel Tower. Then we have a Spellbinders Labels 48 die. You get five nestable ones, so you have different sizes that range from four inches down to one and a tenth of an inch. Oh, uh, yeah. Next up, we have this Poppy die. This one's called Swirling Hearts. Okay. And then we have some really cool new product that just actually came in yesterday. These are some Dare to be Artsy um, products. These are these are mixed media dies, but you can also use these for card making and journaling. Um, these not dies are stamps. My apologies on that one. This one is called. These are totally Tracy Lon. This one calls Vines of Love. So you get the florals. And the leaves, and you get the sentiment. Don't think about art, just get it done. You get the vines, so have a few of those. Then we have this one, totally Tracy. This one's called Let It Go. You got the breathe, it's cool little flower. And you got this, I love the sentiment right here, the released. That one's cool. So we have a couple of those. Then we have this one, it's called Say It in Words, which I really love, and I kept one for myself. Um, because it has that like print, newspaper print or book print with inside of the um, stamps itself. So these are all images. There's no sentiments in this one. Kind of, I love this one. Kind of cool. And this one's another one of my favorite ones. And I've also kept one of these for myself too. This one is called T Totally Tracy Texture. So you get the circle rings, the little splatter ring, and then you get these little dots so these are this is an awesome set too great mixed media sets um, also from the dare to be artsy this is a a wavy um slim line dies um these are frames and stuff so these are kind of cool like the squiggly one with the dots and you get the the flags and more squigglies and just some rectangles so these are for your slim line cards okay next we have a Another slimline card die from Dare to be Artsy. This one, I believe, is called Honeycomb. Yeah, Honeycomb. So you get the honeycomb. So basically, you get cool little, like the little bees going on up there. So we got that one. Okay, next up, we have this Dynamics die from My Favorite Things. This is called Blueprint Number 7. This kind of gives you a whole bunch of different dies to create cards with. These are really awesome. Uh, next up, we have this dynamic die from My Favorite Things. This one is called Stitched Heart Grid. Stitched Heart Grid is the name of that one. Then we have this um, Dots, Merry Dots from a Poppy Dies. Poppy Stamps and Dies. It's a nice little cool one. And you can stitch that within there if you wanted to. Use some DMC floss and stuff. Next up, we have this Lawn Fawn Lawn Cuts. This one is a stitched heart envelope. So if it, essentially you're gonna, um, it's gonna give you some score lines in there and stuff, and you get to um, create this little envelope. Like, isn't it cool? So we have that. Next up, we have this Prima Flowers. 
Um, does it have a name? And this, like, en français. Lucerne. Um, next up, we have Spellbinders. This shuttered window die. So you get two dies. You get the window itself and you get the shutters. Down here. Next up, we have some from the Halloween ideology and Tim Holtz. These are the Vellum Haunts. So these are kind of awesome and stuff. Yeah, the other things that you get in there. Um, then we have some distressed tags. You get 20 tags. Great mixed media heavy card stock. And we have those distressed tags. Then we have these distress. Not distress. Tim Holtz ideology quotations. You get the metallic stickers. They come in the white and the black with gold. So you get things like limited edition, adventure awaits. Great for your journaling. And you can actually put these on sentiments on your cards if that's what you want. Like make a wish, you can put that on a birthday card and stuff like that. Next up, we have from Lawn Fawn this clear stamp set. Um, this one is called. Um, conversation heart add-on. This is for the uh, the line that has the little uh, like we put the jelly beans in and the thing and stuff like that. So you can put hearts in there as well. I forgot the name of the set. And next up we have this poppy die. This one is called a large Fremont pine background die tree. So that's kind of cool. And then we have this Dynamics from My Favorite Things. This one's called a Fluttering Hearts Cover-Up. So as just a reminder, like this does not cut the heart completely out. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap in between that. So basically you can like pull them up and it can be a little bit of a three-dimensional card and have a little bit of stuff to it. And next up, we have some new amazing products from Catherine Pooler Designs in the store. Um, these are all Slimline products. So we this one, we have the, um, this is a rainbow Slimline die. So you get all these three different rainbows on a Slimline die. Okay. have a couple of those in the store. I might have kept one. I might have bought one of those for myself too. Um, next up is this. This one is called Essentials. So here you are, you have the scalloped and dashed edges, and then you have these, uh, cuts out the little windows as well. You have a circle, you have the rectangle, and you have some hearts. And we have a couple of those available. Um, then we have this Sunray Slimline die, and we have a couple of these as well. This one looks fun. Okay, and then we have a couple of um, Slimline stencils. This one is leopard print. You can kind of see what it looks like, but it's for your Slimline cards. So this one's leopard print. And the last product for today is this one right here. Also from Catherine Pooler. This is called, I think it's called Fractal. If I'm not mistaken on that. No, Fractal. Um, stencil for your slimline card. So that is all I have new in the store this week. And just remember, I only show videos once a week now with the new products in the store, but I do add stuff usually daily as it comes in or as I have time. Um, so make sure you check often if you would like. And I, this weekend's coupon code will be LABOR20 to save 20% off of your order. Um, and I'll put that in the description box below. I will also put a couple of links to the store, like the Slimline products now have their own category. So I'll make sure I link that as well. Make sure you check out my social media links and go ahead and join the Facebook group if you would be interested. And we do a little bit more personal things in there. Like we, you know, we just have some, some fun in there. And like sharing our projects, talking ideas and stuff like that. So thank you all for joining me today and have a crafty day, y'all.